I go through a journal every two weeks, 60 pages. Poetry every day, up to five, six poems a day. And photography, I always do photography every day. I come here every three, two, two or three times a week and read poetry. I feed on it. It's my source of inspiration. It's why I'm alive, it's to write. It's my most available gift, if you will. It's just there. I've always done it. All the sand arts were always going to be a book. It all had the ability to travel as far as I could see. It was a medium that wasn't being used ever that I'd ever seen. So I used to go over there and do a labyrinth every night, a large scale, as the pier was being built. And then I went, oh my God, that could be my grandstand. That could be where it's all at. And it was for 20 years after that. So it fill up to two, three, four, five hundred people. It's great. Doing 1,200 works, it doesn't seem like that at all. It was a rush to get them, you know, it's amazing. Challenging. And that's where I was fit, I can't do it now. Because my health can't do the running like it used to. So you do what's appropriate. And now poetry is appropriate. It was always poetry then too, because the line would go in, or two lines would go in, to a sand art. So the gift is writing. And if you don't use your gift, you've missed life, in a way, one of the gifts of life. You've got to have a mantra. You've got to meditate. It's acceptance of, this is your place, this is your time, now is the moment. With style, it's got to have style. As it's called, go on then. When you catch yourself by surprise, and you find yourself at the dizzy heights, and you follow the path you find you're on, that never leads anywhere you've ever known. This is the way home, following the curvature, in and out, high and low, zigging and zagging. You feel your way back down into the valley to restore and revive after the dizzy heights left your life force's juices in need of a night of replenishment.